Hello and welcome to another Starbase Summary. I'm Jack Byer. I'm not DOS, but I'm filling in for DOS today, so hopefully I do a good job. Here's an aft flap getting installed on Ship 35, which we can't see because it's in the back left of Mega Bay 2 there. Uh, so it goes. But hey, at least we can see the flap getting lifted in because the door was open. Speaking of the door being open, here is a bobcat just going in and out of Stargate, uh, taking out a bunch of debris before they fully tore it all down. Uh, here's a barrel inside of the Star Factory that's probably a payload section. It looks like it was Ship 33. I don't have time to read these labels. How does DOS do this? Uh, here's a nose cone, Ship 39's nose cone. Uh, that's where the header tank that we saw in the previous video was. Then they put the nose cone over it. Uh, that's how we know it's 39's. Here is an aft flap. No, forward flap. What am I saying, Jack? Here's a... <laughs> oh, man. How does DOS do this? Here is a forward flap getting installed on... What did that say? 38? I should know this. I shot this. It's pretty cool to see the tiles in the little hinge area there. Good old office building. You can see they're uh, starting to do some work in this shot on that paneling there by the glass where, like, the connector is. Hey, look, it's Booster 17 doing a cryo test over at the Massey Outpost. Awesome. Continuing demolition of the high bay. I will forever lament that I never got to uh, go up there. You know, even if I someday in the future get to go up to the mega bay or the giga bay roof, like, I never got to go to the roof of the high bay. I got to go inside Stargate. Never high bay. Transfer tube installed. Not downcomer. Transfer tube. You saw that. Everybody saw that, right? Transfer tube. More Stargate demolition. Oh, I don't want to watch this. It makes me sad. I mean, it's making way for the new, which is good, right? That's good. I'm happy for that. That's great. Uh, I can still, you know, be a little bummed. That's how change is. Oh, look at that. It's like a T-Rex just... Ba okay, I like it now. <laughs> it's just bashing into the... All right. Okay, well, there you go. Oh, the perfectly timed bus, of course. Have you guys seen that video of the... I forget what what stadium it is imploding. And uh, the, the cinematographer has like a perfect shot lined up and a bus comes and parks directly in front. Uh, luckily that wasn't... This wasn't that bad, but... Yep. Goodbye, Stargate. We'll talk about it more in this week's Starbase update, which uh, we also did a flyover this week, so I think we might tease some of those a little bit later in the video here. I have no idea how DOS just does this stream of consciousness. Um, yep, it's still gnashing at the debris of Star Factory. <laughs> uh, here's Massey's Booster 17 sitting there, uh, the structural test stand right here, a lot of work going on that ahead of what we expect to be uh, test tank 17, I think it is, which is right now in Mega Bay 1. That's going to be finished at some point and then roll out here for testing ahead of the next version of boosters. So they got a lot of work to do on it to get ready for all that testing. Here's booster 17, and you can see how shaky my tilt is. Do better, Jack. Sometimes I'll shoot these in slow mo. Uh, slow mo forgives a lot of sins when it comes to camera shake. All right, that wasn't so bad. How does he finish? Oh, Thomas. Thomas did me a solid there. He he made it look better in the edit. <laughs> Good old production site. Really crazy to just see the high bay getting parted out like this. But, uh, you know, all in the name of progress. Can't wait for the giga bay to go up. That's going to be sweet for sure. OLM and flame deflector. Lot going on, as usual. And just a nice little golden hour shot of this of the rocket garden. Why not? I thought this shot was kind of cool. You know, it shows the debris. It shows the work going on on uh, the demolition work, I guess. But it also shows Starship in the background. So, I don't know. Kind of a neat one. Here, if you switch audio, you can switch audios. Here, if you switch audio to the ambient, hopefully Thomas has some sweet audio from that excavator dropping things into the, the truck there. It was just making huge, loud bangs that were like resa like w echoing around the production site. That was cool. Hopefully that's in the ambient. I have no idea. I'm watching all of this for the first time. Hey, look, it's Pad B. Hey, look, it's Pad B's gantry. 
Nito. Moving uh, one of those concrete forms. I think that's one of the sides of the flame trench. I'm not sure. Hopefully, you can also switch audio, and if you know Spanish or German, you can listen to what Alex or Adrian are saying. And uh, they probably know exactly what that is. I just saw a thing moving, so I shot video of it. Also, the birds in that shot were really a treat. Gage will like that. A lot of work going on, as usual, at the tank farm. Not necessarily in this shot, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, they keep adding to it. Center flame bucket section lifted. Nice. You gotta love the Starbase live cameras. Oh, jeez. More? Uh, oh, man. You know, I met Elon in that building. That's the, that's the one time I got to go in it. Uh, me, Austin Bernard, and, and I, and uh, Lab Padre was there and some a bunch of other people who I'm probably forgetting which I apologize for but that's a that's a fun memory I was ba way back in 2019 my if only we knew what would be to come back then and now it's gone all right well goodbye goodbye how long are we going to linger on this shot thomas thomas is the one that edits these i don't know if y'all know that Usually it's Thomas. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, it's dead. <laughs> okay, we get a time lapse, too. Great. It's, ex it's extra dead. Uh, hopefully I'm doing a good enough job filling in for Das here. Oh, come on. Tell me we have some shots of the sparks. I'd way rather look at the sparks. I know I, I shot some stuff of the sh sparks in slow-mo. Hopefully we see it, but those files were like... Hundreds of gigs. Maybe they'll be in the next video. Hey, flyover tease. It's the JFK. A lot of you liked when we got the footage of that when it was coming in, and uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on it. I saw it w while we were doing our flyover, and so I got that shot real quick. A little bit of Massey's, a little bit of production site action, a little bit of rolling shutter, you know. Shooting from 10,000 feet is no joke. I really tried hard to get a shot inside of Mega Bay 1 right there. Uh, get some stills. It just could not see in it thanks to the lighting. But that is where Test Tank 17 is. And it'll be really interesting to see when that rolls out. Because it's going to be hopefully informative to us in terms of what Block 2 booster is going to look like. Hey, it's the launch site. Hey, it's the flame trench. Thomas didn't level this shot with respect to the tower. I love you, Thomas. Uh, but if I'm ever commentating these, I'm going to nitpick the edit. I apologize. Dang, that flame trench looks sweet. I haven't even looked at this footage yet. It's Sunday right now. We flew on Friday. It's been very busy. Actually, it's Saturday. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Uh, I just uploaded that footage for the editors. I haven't looked at it yet. Yes, Thomas, I love you. Good job on the edit. All sins are forgiven. Thomas included Sparks. Hooray. I don't know. I, I have <laughs> probably like 20 minutes <laughs> of, of this uh, sort of stuff. Uh, do you guys want uh, 20 minutes of Sparks video to chill and relax to? We could do it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it would ruin our... <laughs> our view count like averages but yeah that's why there was a lot of gigabytes of footage this week hey here's a shot from caesar awesome more sparkage you know it's uh it's sad to see the high bay go but it's definitely interesting to shoot the demolition and it's definitely going to be interesting to shoot the construction of gigabay and holy cow, when the when like you get an open shot of the Gabay with like the doors open and you can see just like rows of ships and rows of boosters uh, in progress, that's that's gonna be cool. Hey, speaking of cool, was that last night? What is time? Last night the flame uh, the flame buckets were rolled out to the launch site, and sometimes when these things roll out, it's like it doesn't move at all ever, and then it's moving, and then you you, you know. 
the only amount of time you have to shoot it is while it's on the move. In this case, they rolled this one, this half out and staged it right here roadside, so we actually had a little bit of time to like take these gratuitous shots. Here's a great one from Caesar here, a nice little pan uh, on the uh, on the uh, the bucket there. You know, it's nice when, especially at night, when when something isn't moving. Um, it's easier to get stills of it because when it's moving, it it's much harder to get a sharper shot. This was really cool. I I saw that other one coming out of the gate, and I ran over to be dead center with it. Uh, I did not expose this shot well enough, though. But hey, that's cool. See it go right by the camera. That also is probably pretty cool in the ambient audio version. And uh, there you have it. Both of them now headed out to the launch site. Oh, this is cool. I like the kind of a low angle view. Neat. Interesting gaps on the diverter there. SPMT just cooking by. They did not waste any time. In fact, I don't know how. I'm, I'm not okay. I'm not gonna do the thing where I look at the uh, the time bar in the video, the playback bar, to see how far along we are, because I'm not sure how close to today this video is gonna go. Did Thomas use footage from today? I don't know, but we'll see what happens to these flame diverters. Maybe. Dot dot dot. <laughs> also, if you're a member, uh took a whole bunch of photos since that one was just sitting there dead still. I tried to get a whole bunch of high-res shots, close-ups of all different parts of it and whatnot. Uh, so if you're a member and you want to see extreme detail, uh, you can. And uh, check out the membership program. There needs to be... Somebody needs to post this with some kind of music. I'm too brain dead right now. It's been a long day. but <laughs> It's been a long couple days. But uh, yeah, this is really cool. This is really, really, really just wild to see. Uh, and after seeing so many things roll in Starbase so many times, uh, this one was definitely pretty special. Like, these things are going to be, what, encased in concrete? Underneath a whole bunch of steel? Underneath the world's largest and most powerful rocket that's going to send people to the moon and Mars? And uh, they just went right past us on the road. That was a real treat for Caesar and I. All right, I guess that's it. Aha! <laughs> Maybe you won't get to see what happened to the flame diverters today. Uh, but hey, you, you would know if you watch Starbase Live. Also, we'll have another video out here shortly. We're having Starbase update. We have a cape flyover next week. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Thanks for watching. We love you. Goodbye.